hello guys um welcome back to the channel okay so i was just there seated and then i realized like oh so i have some plants out there and they are suffocating they are suffocating because they are struggling to get nutrients uh, from the soil because there are so many plants there and the most essential plants are losing out because they are outnumbered so i decided to go harvest some wild spinach for you guys and then i'm going to cook it and if you want i can eat it on camera if you want ah trying to get um to overcome that fear of eating in public if you're coming here for the first time please do me a favor subscribe to the channel like the video and you know share if you want but yeah um i have a fear of eating in public i remember first time i went to america we were supposed to go to a nice restaurant this other time and i told chris like no i'm not going he couldn't understand why i didn't want to eat oh i didn't want to go but the reason why i didn't want to go was because i was scared to eat in public so when i'm eating in public i feel like everybody is judging me everybody's thinking about how i don't know how to eat um, do I have something on my lips? You know, I'm too conscious. I'm self-conscious. So maybe I can eat some spinach on camera for you guys. And for me too. Not for me, for you. For me too. Because it will help me. Anyways, right now I'm going to go outside and just harvest some wild spinach. And if you've seen my video, my previous video, you will see that I have planted some wild spinach on accident planted on accident because it was in the humus we call it humus you can say fertilizer that i was using so yeah for now let's just go outside and have some spinach <laughs> so i'm going to use this to harvest and hopefully chris's music doesn't interfere with my video but i can hear it so this video I think it can hear. I mean, it can pick it up. So here is the spinach. Oh, and the weather, you guys. The weather is so beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah, so here is the spinach. So in the village, when we harvest the spinach, we just cut, like you pinch, pow, you pinch, pow, you pinch like the top which is still juicy but since we are trying to get rid of all this spinach we are going to pinch and then pull it out the whole thing because now we don't need it anymore and it's going to make a lot of it will create um, a lot of damage so now we just harvest uh, uh. Then we pull it out so it doesn't sprout anymore and then the scent will be free so one thing we do also after we harvest we um we go wash the spinach because when you do this or when it rains or when you're watering some scent will be transferred onto the plant or to the spinach so if you just cook it this way without really washing it vigorously then it's going to be sandy it won't be nicey nice and tasty so sorry guys i'm doing this with one hand since i'm holding my phone um sometimes like with the leaves like this whole big thing since we just need the top you take off the top because it's still young and it will cook better so for this for this part you can just pull like this pull up yep then you put it out oh my god it's so hot now the sun is out and it's burning so i'm thinking should i go in the shade for a minute and come <laughs> and come back later or should i just continue i think i'll just continue So guys, I didn't last out there. <laughs> I didn't last out there. I carried everything inside, but it's still messy. Like it has so much sand on it. 
as you can see, there's so much scent in all the roots. But this is the spinach. And this is what I was trying to do in the beginning. So now, ooh, it's hot. Okay, now I'm going to get the, what? The tripod and just, I'm going to dress up so you can come in the video. <laughs> okay, we've got a tripod. So, oh my God, I can't believe I brought this much scent. So much scent in the house. Look at this. But the sun was still burning and like I couldn't stay. I couldn't stay out there, especially dressed like this. So what I was trying to show you outside is you snap. And then we don't waste this either. In the vi village, okay, sorry. In the village, you have to be resourceful. Okay, so you can hold this and then just pull. See, now this can go to the pigs. This we use it to feed the pigs. The rest we cook. So this uh, spinach is a family is from a family of amaranthus. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Like I wasn't really a nature conservation person. I was more. But yeah, it's family of amaranthus, but I just don't know which kind of amaranthus it is. Like it's kind of a pigweed. Pigweed, pigs love it. What's are we? You're not gonna go in the video? Good girl, but you were dressed up, huh? Oh, I see. You look nice. Mm-hmm. It's a big girl. Okay, so like all spinach, after cooking this, it will just end up fitting like one cup or something. But it's enough, especially when you have to mix it with tomatoes and onions. And we used to mix in some other type of Spinach, which I saw. Look at this scent. Oh my god. There's this spinach I saw out there again. So I'm going to get it because it makes this spinach cook faster because the other one has a lot of water in it. So we are done. We are done uh, sorting it. So now we're just going to. Sorry, I keep on looking at the road. Anyways, yeah, so now we are going to. Um, to wash to wash the spinach put it in a pot and on the stove <laughs> we are going to use one of these pots um we haven't bought pots yet for the house so this is all we have and this is what we have been using for the past three months so i'm still looking into buying some pots so if you have any <laughs> suggestions on which one we should get a brand or so that last long like i don't care about the price as long as they will last us almost our whole lifetime So, as I have told you, that we need to wash, this is the reason. Look at all that scent. 
Look at all these. That could have ended up in the pot and we don't want that. So we are done with this. We don't have to add any water because the water that we washed with is enough. So we just have to cook it, not on high, because in the village we add a lot of um, water because we cook on high and the water evaporates fast. So the water um, evaporates before the uh, spinach was actually cooked. So now today we're going to cook it on medium so that we give it enough time to use the water that is already in there. So this is it. We just close it. Um, and we have all these marks. I think these are dishwasher dishwasher marks because sometimes I'm not in the mood to wash all these pots by hand. So <laughs> I end up putting it in a dishwasher and then it will do that. Um, I'm still learning these knobs. This one I think is this. So we have to cook it on, let's say four for now. We are going to cook it on four and this video is becoming too long so maybe i should divide it into two parts um so now we're just boiling it and then we're going to add um, uh, salt later cooking oil onion tomatoes look at our tree <laughs> okay it has been more than 10 minutes and I'm thinking this is almost ready so let's just use one of these to flip it over yep it feels ready this is how it See, it feels ready, like you can just smoosh through, it feels ready. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to let it cook a little bit more while I'm cutting on onions and tomatoes. Um, 